Welcome back to Outdoor Ohio. I'm KC, your host, and we are here for a very, very special hunt. As you may see here, the annual Disabled American Veterans Hunt. We're in Fort Shawnee, Ohio, just a little bit south of Lima, and there's been a couple places down here that have been nice enough to be able to offer our veterans some land upon which to hunt. Now, disabled disabilities, they come in all shapes and sizes, from physical to mental, to that which is just devastating. But those disabilities came in the noblest form of sacrifice that you can imagine, the defense of this country and the freedoms that we enjoy. So join us today as we celebrate American veterans on Veterans Day weekend on this edition of Outdoor Ohio. The morning started the way deer hunts always start, early. But we had just fallen back from daylight savings time, so getting up wasn't quite as hard to do. And anyway, we were excited. We were going to do some deer hunting. The Hunting for Heroes organization had preset a series of ground blinds and corn piles for our veterans to hunt from, carefully placed to allow the hunters a lot of space and a lot of opportunity. We are uh, on Husky Refinery property, and we're 30 yards from the bait pile. Hopefully we'll see something today. I've been hunting since 2010. I haven't been able to harvest a deer yet. But it wasn't long before we started to see movement. Perhaps Patrick's luck was about to change. It was a six point buck. It ran past our feed pile, about 30 yards, about 25 yards away. It circled back around. We have some scent out. Uh, almost had a shot on him. Uh, turned back around, did a couple circles, did some doe bleeds to it. And uh, we just wouldn't come in close enough to get a shot on. So. Unfortunately, all of the deer we saw stayed out of range. They all followed a path through thick brush, well protected from our blind and Patrick's crossbow. We decided to call it a morning and go in and get lunch. Well, did you see anything? Yeah, I saw a six point buck, uh, probably about six or seven does together. Uh, I think three does together. I think two does together. Quite a, quite a few deer, about every half hour. Good, at least they're, they're moving around. This afternoon we'll get you back in here and uh, uh, we'll get you uh, another chance to get one to walk up and uh, maybe uh, harvest a decent deer. I'm hoping for it. Thank Good. you. While we had lunch, we got to know Patrick a little bit better. My name is Patrick Redman. Uh, I'm 25. I'm from Delphus, Ohio. Uh, served in the Army for three years, two and a half years. Uh, Fort Hood. And Iraq. The day in Iraq that uh, I remember the most is February 24th, 2009. Uh, we were in a four, four vehicle convoy. We were driving down a highway, and I was the last truck in the convoy. And we hit an IED, uh, improvised explosive device, that uh, blew up right next to my truck. and. Everybody made it through. Uh, just some of my disabilities are uh, traumatic brain injury, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, tendonitis ringing in my ears, loss of hearing, uh, back, knees, ankles, feet. All hurt all the time. To treat my traumatic brain injury and PTSD, I don't know, I just try to make all my environments around me as soothing as possible so I don't have to deal with things that could trigger bad memories or bad events and stuff like that. Uh, my grandpa was a prisoner of war in uh, the Battle of the Bulge. He has one purple heart. My father has three purple hearts. He was in Vietnam. Uh, my 
two brothers were in Desert Storm and I went to the second Iraq war. Uh, bow season I, I enjoy because you don't feel pressured. You have a long four or five months to, to get out there and you don't feel pressured that you're gonna have to be, well, this is gun season, I only got a week to do it. And I just enjoy it because it's, it's more relaxing than feeling pressured like you have to be there. It just, it kind of connects you with nature almost. It just makes you feel like you're, you're a part of nature in some sort of way and get you excited. First year we had nine disabled vets come in at a really good time. They killed three deer and it's been getting bigger ever since. We had 21 hunters coming in this year, but we killed three deer already today. First day of the hunt. We're going back out for the for the evening hunt. Hopefully they'll drop another three or four. A little bit of uh, thank you for everything they've done for the rest of us. The hunt doesn't come close to paying that bill, but it's a start. <laughs> uh, All right, well, good luck today. All right, thank you very much. I'll definitely try to get one. Thank you. That's the thing about Patrick. He says thank you a lot. He's very grateful. And it was a little disarming, considering that the hunt was created to thank him and others who risked everything for their country. The afternoon hunt was on and the deer were really moving. All we really needed was a clear shot. There were several deer close to us, but they didn't present that perfect opportunity. To shoot through the brush would mean risking deflection of the bolt, so we waited for them to come closer. But something was keeping them just out of range. It wasn't the bait pile, that was in clear view. But up beyond the brush was where the deer kept going. At lunch, we noticed they had some apples sitting out, so we got clever and grabbed a couple, not taking into account how pesky a squirrel could be. The squirrel just took our bait. It had an apple sitting out there, and it just took it. Fucking squirrels, man. But then, as soon as we turned our heads, a doe walked into view. I saw what looked like a good, clear shot. All she needed to do was come forward one more foot. I think I missed, I'm not sure though. I don't know, it was close, it was close. I don't know if I hit it or not. I should have waited, should have waited another couple steps. But I took a harder shot than I should have. Yep, but it wasn't the challenging shot that stopped him. It was the deflection of the bolt. The bolt ended up stuck firmly in a tree. Watch in slow motion. You can see the path of the bolt. And then when we watch it again, you can actually see the branch above the bolt move slightly. A definite and heartbreaking deflection. It wasn't the outcome we wanted, but we had a blast and we weren't done yet. A special Veterans Day dedication was on the agenda at the Veterans Freedom Flag Monument at General Dynamics in Lima, often referred to as the tank plant because of their construction of tanks over the years, including the M1A1. I don't mean to brag, but I, I helped work on the very first Abrams ever built. And later that evening, we all got together for a meal, a few stories, and a lot of thank yous. Here comes the seven point buck. And this is my guide. My guide hits his little dope buck call, whatever. And he sounded like a sexy doe inside our tent. <laughs> he stopped that buck on a dime. I pulled the trigger, 
And I don't know who was more excited because we're both standing up, peering out this little window, watching this buck charge off in the distance, and he would say it, and then I had to echo it. Go down, dear. Okay, go down, dear. And he's like, go down, dear. And when you know, he commanded that deer to go down, and we got it. So, seven foot buck, my guide, right here. He's open for autographs later. Another hunt comes to a close. Uh, not exactly the ending that we wanted, but uh, at least you can have some nice tree. Oh yeah, uh, shooting that tree, it made me so proud. I have some tree back, back straps, and it's gonna be delicious. Bark is worse than this bite, yeah. and maybe not in this case. <laughs> Joe, thanks for letting us come out. We appreciate having everybody here today. Um, this is our fourth annual hunt, and um, we harvested 10 deer, which is a first for us. It's twice what we've ever done before, so. We're really happy that this is happening. I know the landowner is going to be tickled too. They want to get rid of some of those deer. So, um, thank you very I much just, for coming out. I, I want to thank you so much. It was, a, it's a, it was an experience. I'll tell you that. It was a wonderful experience. Probably the best day ever. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for that. So keep an eye out for these guys because they put notices online all the time about different types of events that they're having for not only disabled veterans, but disabled children, hunters of all types that maybe don't have the opportunity normally that the rest of us have. So just keep watching for other opportunities that you can get outside in Ohio. I'm KC and thank you for watching.